The rats, why did he need them? Bloody rodents. Better to have stuffed them with a poison, or crushed them into a pulp with a shovel, but no. Did you see what he did with them?
Kira. What are you doing? Geralt. <laughs> you gave me quite a start. Brene, the mage, he says, bring me rats and healthy ones. Not something the cat dragged in. This the lamp from the elf's hideout? And what's this about rats? Nothing important. I'll explain later. Now tell me, to what do I owe the pleasure? Why do you want the lamp? You just witnessed why. To communicate with lost souls. Didn't know you were interested in that kind of magic. There's nothing wrong with it. Mm -hmm. Why'd the elf promise you the lamp? We traded for it. He needed powerful magic and sensed I was no common wart charmer. I brewed him a potion. To delay nervous tissue degeneration, stave off memory loss or some such. Who'd he want to use it on? He didn't say. So, bet you saw this question coming. What are you doing here? Let me think. Enjoying the country air? Admiring the unspoilt scenery? Or is it furthering the age-old alliance between the city and its breadbasket? No. I'm in hiding, Geralt. Blind to the state of the world? Don't you see what's happening? You mean the persecution mages now face? Yes, that's exactly what I mean. Radovid's new pastime. Pursuing anyone with a whiff of magic about them. Witch hunters. Sound familiar? Murderers scouring the north from end to end. Burning books, hanging soothsayers, torturing herbalists. Picked a strange place to hide. I didn't pick anything. In the north, Radovid's men hunt sorceresses like fish in a barrel. Nilfgaard controls the south. Where was I to flee? Emperor does keep mages on a short leash, but he lets them live and ply their trade. Radovid and Emma differ in every respect except one. They share a deep hatred of the Lodge of Sorceresses. And I was a member. So how's it feel to be the village witch? Ah, <sighs> horrid. No joy in having the boundless respect and trust of the local peasantry? <laughs> They'd respect anyone who could produce hemorrhoid cream. Been here a while, haven't you? Long enough for rot to set in. You cannot possibly imagine how much I detest this place. Changing the subject. Any news of your sisters from the Lodge? None. We can't know too much about one another these days. It's safer that way. Even tried to contact one another? I've wanted to many times. But I've no way of knowing who would answer. Or who might be listening. Bet the old witch who lived here left you a bunch of interesting sundries. She did indeed. I gather you'd like a look. Very much so. See you, Kira. Geralt! Just when I was starting to miss you. Mentioned you wanted something from me. I did, and still do. The cursed isle on Lake Windama. You've heard of it, I'm sure. The local peasants mumble incessantly about it, about the wraiths that haunt it. They claim none who go there return. How'd it come to be cursed? That's what I don't know. I must break this spell, yet I've been unable to identify its source. Gotta know something. Scraps. The curse is somehow linked to the tower where Vserard, the lord of these lands, took refuge when Nilfgaard invaded. 
Claims in the village are that peasants, desperate of hunger, sailed to Fike Isle to beg for food. Met their end there. It was a massacre. So, will you please help me lift this curse? You're so good at these things. Why are you so intent on this? I'm not. The local peasantry is. The Isle, miss. You've got to lift the charm. You're a good witch, a great witch. There's no end to it. Uh-huh. See, I thought you didn't care for the locals. The great witch you are. I failed to lift the curse, and they could conclude I'm not so great. Not enough to conceal me from the witch hunters and risk getting sent to the gallows themselves. What others think. Your image. That's all you care about. The point is, listen. I didn't flee to these wilds just to stupidly get caught because some boar with grit under his fingernails grows annoyed with me. So the peasants who went to the island for food, this lord had them murdered? The villagers say he had them poisoned. A real gentleman. Hmm. Why well, I never met him. But he certainly didn't seem such a cruel man, judging by what a mage from the isle told me. A mage lived on the island? Did you know him? Where is he now? We were friends. Sadly, he died that day as well. Very few survived. Yet even those who escaped the Isle soon suffered agonizing deaths. Strangely, they did not seem to have been poisoned. Need to think about it. Not too long, I trust. If you've any questions... I'll know where to find you. <sighs> Just when I was starting to miss you. Tell me more about this mage from the Isle. Were you two close? Never expected you'd take such an interest in my private life. More interested to know if you bonded as fellow magic practitioners. Oh, we had little in common in that arena. Oh, Alexander was one of those anxious experimenters, forever short on sleep. The kind that thinks perfect happiness is an isolated tower and a full set of vials and alembics. This island that's cursed. Prepared to help after all? All right, I'll help. I knew you'd find it irresistible. Naturally, you'll need to sail to Fike Isle. Fine. What then? Well, the spirits who wander the Isle, you must establish a rapport with them. Don't know how. But they could point us in the direction of the curse's source. Think they'll be willing to chat? Of course. Provided you take my magic lamp with you. I shall let you keep it afterwards in appreciation. You'll find it quite useful, I'm sure. Can't you just come with me? I tried to go to Fikeile once. Thought my head would burst the curse's magic was so strong. Nice of you to send me there. I experienced an acute nasal hemorrhage. You stand to endure a wobble of your medallion at most. At Aratusa, they trained me to detect even the subtlest magic pulses. This was like getting smacked across my haunches with a grain flail. Funny. Thought you'd go in for that sort of thing. Take my boat. I left it on the lake shore near the village. Should be fit to use. Provided Rot hasn't eaten it, as it seems to eat everything here. How's the lamp actually work? I mean, do I just rub it, or do I have to do something, uh, magical? <laughs> you needn't even rub. Just place it where you find bones and hear whispers. Um, I suppose I should warn you. It might not be the most pleasant experience. Figured as much. Tell you all about it later. Maybe skip the drastic bits. You'll need to do neither. I'll give you a Xenovox. It's a bauble that will let us speak over some distance. You will tell me what you see, and I shall tell you what to do and look for. Never heard of a Xenovox. It works just like a megascope, but is far more portable. Think of it as a magic box that talks. Are they hard to build? Extremely. That's why they're so rare. I certainly couldn't build anything like it. So no chance these Xenovoxes will catch on with every mage using one? Not the slightest. 
So, where'd you get the Xenovox? Found it in the mine along with the lamp. Thought it was part of the lamp at first. Didn't realize what I'd actually found until later. Think it belonged to the Elven Mage? Clearly. And I didn't even know the Elves used them. I need to know anything else before I go? No, that is all. Oh, go already. I can't wait to see what you discover on Phi Kyle. Just be sure to come and see me afterwards. And... Geralt. Mm. Thank you. Just when I was starting to miss you. See you, Kira. <laughs>